What's going on guys, my name is Brendan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. All right, so 30 for 30. Every single morning, we're coming back by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to give you a new workout video. If it's not posted, it's a rest or recovery day. Today, we have legs on the agenda, and there's one question that I always receive, and that is, Brendan, can I build size in my legs? Can I build mass in my legs with body weight training only? No, no real resistance outside, like in the gym or any weights. And the answer, in short, is not necessarily as much as in the gym, but you can build some size just being a caloric surplus. If you don't know any Thing about macronutrients and caloric surplus, go ahead and, and look that up on YouTube. It, it's pretty much everywhere. Now, when it comes to these legs, it's important that we're utilizing different types of training. So, time under tension, uh, plyometric training, even HIIT training is going to be able to build your legs in a certain regard. Um, just make sure that you're staying controlled and you have the proper technique and you'll be good to go. Now, before we jump into this workout, I'm going to give you a few tips that you could be following and uh, let's jump right in. All right, quick tip number one posture is so important with overall muscle development. This is the position you should be in, not this. Number two, the less you squeeze and tighten your abs and midsection, the more strain you put on your lower back. It may seem annoying at first to adjust, but it's worth it long term. Number three, if you are going to drink any type of juice, make sure you are buying 100% juice, not anything else with added sugar or ingredients. Number four, it's extremely tough to build big legs with bodyweight training. When utilizing movements like this, you can expect an athletic look, not a bodybuilding one. Number five, look, I take these probiotics every day for my gut. The more healthy your gut is, the more you can build muscle. Link is in the description. Number six and last, I'm currently 213 pounds. My cut will begin soon. If you ever want to bulk yourself, make sure you are still eating healthy throughout the process. All right, so we're going to be starting off with a 30 second pistol squat hold assisted. So we're outside, find a fence, find something that you can grab onto, okay? All you want to do is essentially flex at those hips so both of your butt cheeks are moving towards the opposite side, like really pushing back and sitting back, okay? Now, what I want you to do is grab onto the fence. Then what I want you to have this right foot do is almost like a circle position so that you, you turn this way and then you sit back into that left or right butt cheek, okay? Now from this position, you're gonna keep your toe on the ground. If you're more of a beginner, this may just be where you're gonna be. Or you could take your foot off and hold in that position. Or if you're more advanced, you can let go of the, of the actual fence. Now the one key that I want you to be following is rounding that upper back. This is gonna put a lot of more stabilization into that glute. That's what we're really working here and just warming up for the entire workout. So we're gonna be here. Now if you want to go a little bit lower, and hold in this position here, you can. If you wanna go a little higher, that's fine as well. It's all up to you and where you currently are in your fitness journey. All right, for this set, because we are gonna be doing split squats, going into a floor curl, we're gonna take our shoes off, make sure you have the socks on, all right? Now, split squat, very, very simple. So you're gonna be in a lunge position, okay? Now you can actually, if you wanna start from here, then go in the lunge position, as so, making sure that one hip is back so it's almost like you're shifting back so that you're aligning that's actually what it's going to create okay now you can flex your hips slightly so you're bending slightly but keeping that chin tucked and you'll notice i'm not over stretching the hip flexor at all it's more so in a straight position here and all you're going to do is come down and right back up now you don't want to fully extend that knee in the back knee it's just going to be here up okay notice how it's still flexed very very slightly now we're going to be moving straight into leg curls and you can again if it's a little bit too hard for you you may want to just shift some things do this in your house it's completely fine but as you watch me do it you'll see as i bring my hips up okay you'll notice how my hamstrings are already turned on from this position okay so my glutes aren't there everything is tucked away my my feet are actually look at my toes coming towards me as so okay and everything is right here in my hamstrings already, okay? So, you're gonna put your arms to your side. Now, what I want you to do is bring one up, then reset. Bring one up and reset, okay? And you're gonna do them on each side, and you'll notice 
how much your hamstring is burning at the top. Now, I don't want you to come all the way up, up top where your, your foot is flat. You wanna keep it on your heel going throughout the entire movement. All right, here we go. We have suicide squats, time under tension, going into explosive lateral lunges, going into split squats. It's very important that we're going through each movement very, very quickly. And I mean between, not the actual movement itself, okay? So suicide squats, you guys have heard of sissy squats, I'm sure in the gym. Suicide squats, we're more so going towards our knees towards the cabinet, the wall, or the fence in my case, okay? Now our feet are gonna be just about shoulder width apart. You're gonna grab onto a fence. This is more of an assistance, a stabilization movement for you, okay? Or like hand placement for you. So what you're gonna do, keep everything tucked, okay? Squeezing your abs. Now, I want you to very slightly round your back, very, like a, a very small amount. Just listen very, very closely. Round your back slowly. That's gonna actually move you into the right position. You'll notice with your hips and everything as you try and do that, okay? Now, as you come down, I want you to think about just like making a 90 degree angle with that knee and then coming right back up. So notice very closely. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm here, I feel the strain on those quads. I come right back. Up, okay, so very very slow and controlled movement now from there We're gonna be moving straight into explosive lateral lunges. All right, so with these lateral lunges We just want to make sure and notice how I took off my shoes. That's completely fine I actually forgot to put them back on so when we do those lateral lunges You're gonna be coming to the side as so okay now You don't want to move this foot too far out of alignment if you're pointing it too far out That means it's external rotation of the hip You're not gonna be stabilizing in the right position and working the muscles that you want okay, so Keep everything completely straight. So you're gonna be in this position, keeping everything tucked all the way from your abs all the way to your chin. You're gonna come all the way out, okay? Just outside of your shoulder and really below your shoulder. It's pretty, really pretty close. And you come down here, stop in this position. You'll notice that my knee isn't, I'm not like all the way down. I'm not rounding my back or anything. I'm just here, okay? And then I'm going to shoot up, boom. You come back, shoot up, come back, shoot up. And those are explosive. Then we're gonna move into and finish off with split squats. We just went through that movement on the last rep, okay? Just make sure you're going all the way through 20 on each side. All right, here, three point pistol squat into hip thrust with single leg. So the three point pistol squat, we've already done the pistol squat. I showed you on the fence. You can utilize that again if you would like. Again, you're gonna come around, you're gonna squeeze down and push back into that hip. Now, what you're gonna do is essentially, instead of rounding your back, you're gonna sit back straight spine, okay? You're gonna tap in front, tap to the side, and then tap back, okay? And notice my positioning, it's front, side and back okay now if you want to stabilize a little bit with the with the hand or the foot going onto the ground a little bit more that's completely fine then we're going to move into a hip thrust okay with single leg now with the way these are going to look it's essentially just bending your knee here it's a little bit less than a 90 degree angle here keeping everything tucked squeeze your abs into the ground okay and this this leg is going to attach to this other leg now make sure that it's not coming down or too high up all right and from this position all you're going to do is squeeze up until you feel it in that upper hamstring into that glute okay so coming up it's not here we don't want to be pushing away so much from the ground and all that making our, our lower spines hurt a little bit we want to just be here squeezing that glute in and you should feel it it's a slighter movement and the problem is that people think that we have to do more to get more but that's not the truth simple is more and that is your superset last superset we're going to be doing adductor slides into 10 second kickback pulsators so adductor slides we're going to take off our shoes again and all we're going to be doing we're gonna go into a lunge position here, okay? Lateral lunge position, as so. Now, we wanna lean into this leg while we're pushing this leg into the ground. Push it into the ground, almost the inside of it. So we're pushing it into the ground. You could also consider it pulling, that's fine. As we do pull through the positioning and we're coming up here, we don't wanna fully extend, you can if you would like, but all you really wanna focus on is this adductor working the entire time. So, so watch very, very closely. Everything is completely straight. My, my spine, straight from head to my butt. And you'll notice I'm pushing back, but then as I'm coming up, I shift my weight over, so I'm almost over my foot, chest over foot, okay? And I'm squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. This is the focus, very, very slow and tight all the way through, okay? Then we're gonna go over to these kickback pulsators. Now, 
hands are gonna be outside in front of us. Find a gate, find something here, okay? You can almost come in a straight position and just lean forward, pop. That's where you need to be, okay? Keep that chin tucked. Now, I want you to bend at your hips here. Notice how right when you bend at your hips, all of a sudden, both of your glutes start to fire. So it's boom, glutes fire. Then we're gonna bring one leg up, and all we're gonna do in this position, keep the same knee bend, and we're just going to translate it to here, okay? Now, we're gonna bend a little bit more, and notice now, your glute is on, and your hamstring on your right side is on significantly. And all you're gonna do is pulsate up and down in this position. It's not gonna be too fast, keep it controlled, but my gosh, that burns. All right, there you have it. That is your workout for the day. I, I freaking love these workouts. I don't know about you, but uh, I just feel like I'm coming into something that, that I've missed for so long, bodyweight training. So we're gonna be here at the park, try and do that a little bit more, go inside sometimes for you. And then soon enough, we're gonna be on the bars once COVID-19 and everything kind of clears out. But uh, I'm Brendan. This is the 30 for 30 series. Remember, the videos are at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single morning. If it's not posted, rest of recovery day. That's Taylor over there. He's actually waiting for me to uh, throw a random ball because we can't find a football. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give us some feedback in the comment section. I'll see you next time. Peace.